Hello, loyal viewers, and welcome back to Mysterious Mysteries of Strange Mysteries. Tonight's discussion, bob -ombs. Are they really aliens? And that was a serious fail because, no, bob are not aliens. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 2. We are in Mystery Land! And, yeah, Mystery Land, oh my god, Mystery Land, and that thing at the beginning was a uh, reference to Invader Zim, which is an awesome show. And also, I'd like to say that yesterday, Friday, uh, there was actually a co-op, actually, uh, some two up here's that I like, Slim Kirby and Madam Mario did a co-op playthrough of, uh, Mario's Memory Castle, which is pretty cool, I really enjoy it. And to honor them, I'm being the person they hate the most, Peach. I'm kidding, I'm just gonna be her anyway. But, the reason of being Peach is because, uh, well, this is my third board, and I hate Peach. So, it's goes hand in hand. I really don't like this board. It's really annoying. Basically, it's like... It's like a different flavor of Wario's Battle Canyon. Like, it has the same kind of cons concept, but its problem is, like, completely different. But it still does have a problem. Basically, in Mario Battle Canyon, you pass the bob bomb and you got shot to another island in a random spot. This time, you have to land on a happening space, there, which there are several of on each island, and each one will take you to uh, take you to the next island on a specific spot. Now, I'm sure by just me saying those couple things, you can figure out the problems with both of those stages. This stage, it's either too hard or too easy to switch islands, but you get there. Uh, but you get there, uh, what am I saying? But you get there in the best, in the way you always wanted to. Well, the way, the way, the exact spot you want, you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, and then Wario Battle Canyon, it's either, it's way too, too you switch items way too easily, and it's way luck-based. So it's like the exact opposite problem. So yeah, this is a new minigame, Honeycomb Havoc. It's actually, or Honeycomb Havoc, like the, the bees, the bees living. Uh, I really like this minigame, even though I hate bees. Basically, um, you have to hit this block where it gets either one or two. It's not luck-based, you can choose which one it gets easily. It's not like chance time, it's really easy. So you and uh, you can take how many fruits you get on the die, and the player who gets, uh, um, the player who gets the, uh, the whatevers. Wait, that was a really dumb idea. Get one. Okay, do it. Let's make the Yoshi move. Because now, oh yeah, you know, so there's coins instead of fruit sometimes. But see, now whoever gets the beehive, and I have to explain that, whoever gets the beehive loses, and there's three beehives. Basically, you have to time the block right so that, uh, uh, you don't get the beehive. I guess two. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Okay, that was good. That was a good idea. Now, see if DK uses one or two, I can still win. Yes, he's obviously going to choose one. So, there goes Mario. Okay, so you, you really have to think about this logically. Uh, it's okay. Uh oh. I think I screwed myself, but he could be stupid here. Dang it. Okay, that was kind of me being dumb. I will accept that loss, DK. But I will have the next round. You will rue the day you mess with Peach! Okay, yeah. This minigame is fun, even if I did suck at it. And I got a lot of coins. Punch! So, uh, yeah. 
not my favorite board. See, I can have DK's gonna land on Happening Space and go to the other island. And he gets his freaking star anyway. Jesus Christ. If you, um, I mean, uh, if you pay this place ten coins, um, you'll get warped to the other side, which is the easiest way to transfer. But you can't do it with these two. You can only do it with the bottom right and the top left. But from the bottom, on the left and the top right, you can use a skeleton key to get in the center and move to either left or right. So left or to the, the bottom right or top left. So the bottom right and top left are the easiest access. You can technically get there from every island. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that, because I might have a chance. Wait, no, I won't. And this guy, if you pay him five coins, you can curse someone, and, uh, I believe that makes him roll a one through five. It's either that or a one through three. Basically it makes them, they automatically roll a bad number. Is everyone going to transfer islands? Like, everyone except him got a question mark that turn. Jeez. It's like a neat. It's really cool. It's cool. That is not something cool. You do not listen to me. This relationship is over. Okay. Tamper, tamper. Whoa, 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 that sucks. Okay. Grumbling slightly. What the? Oh. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't even know that how that happened. Like, what the heck was that? I don't even know, seriously. I mean, I, yeah, I jumped, but how did that work? I was pressing B. Whatever. I'm not off to a good start. This is probably going to be my first loss. I can just tell by the first two minigames how poorly I played it. Well, I did get second on the last one. That one was just like... Again? Jeez. Not off to a good start. DK's just like. He won both. Me really? Really? The first three turns. He gets two hidden blocks. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm calling it, I will lose. I'm freaking calling it. Lucky. So here's the uh, the item mini game for this level. Mallet go around. Basically, these uh, towers of stone bricks spin, and with your hammer you have to hit the one you want twice. And if you hit Big Bowser once, you lose. So like, he has to hit that one twice. Whoa! Okay. I don't really like that one. It's not my least favorite. I mean, maybe it is. Hmm. Let's see, Ireland, no. Western land. Hmm. Maybe Western land's my least favorite. I have three candidates for least favorite. And it's this one. Uh, just frickin' abandoned ship. The, uh... No, 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 quit doing that. This one, the last one, and then, uh... Western land. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, jeez, wrong character. Oh, jeez. I dodged the fish! It's like a first. Because my TV cuts off a lot. Okay! 
What the heck? I was seriously there like way before Mario was. See what I mean by that me game not responding well? Jeez, this is like the worst I've ever done. Jeez, what the heck is going on? Oh, wait, uh, I'm not supposed to look at there. Uh, okay, turn four. Oh, duh, you're supposed to do five minutes. And you really have to scan through that slowly. And my right through they scan through it really fast. No reason why I'm not trying to fight through you. It's not that big of a deal. Ten coins! Yay! Fist roof, baby. Lost by one coin. Tee hee hee. Tee hee. Pew bullet bill. Why is there a bullet bill anyway? And great, right, one versus three. Look away. Oh boy. I got all three of you. Ha ha. That was all. Because you were all face straight. Facing straight. Do, 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 let's do the worse. Mario's dead. I killed a man. Let's then take to guess we're all floating for heads for more weird reason. You guys suck. You don't want to watch yourself. You probably want to watch the other players more. I got you. This could be that I might be able to get him, but there's chance that I will not. Yeah. Move my controls like at the last second. Or like at the like I moved it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. No! I put one single mini game out of the first four! Jesus! Jeez, I am this is ridiculous. God. I'm sad right now. Meh. There's that Goomba house. I mentioned that in one of my in the Space Line videos and never showed it off. This Goomba house. I have no idea why it's in every single thing. I don't know. And something cool, uh, there's some detail over here. Uh, is Peach's castle. Uh, there's something else. Is it here? Or am I thinking... Oh yes, Loch Ness Monster. Or Dory, I assume, because Mario Party series loves Dory. Well, Mario Party 3 does. No! Could things get any freaking worse? <sighs> well, at least it's happening to, like, the least favorite character of everyone except for me. Who is... <sighs> it's like the worst thing that could happen. I was only 10 points. The worst thing out of both these things. Okay, yeah, one last, one more turn. Jeez. This is gonna be like the big one where it's just like. This is gonna be like Wario's Battle Canyon. Oh, wait, yeah, it is like Wario's Battle Canyon. Relation? And this doesn't even have to do with the bad luck of this even stage. Well, it sort of does, but. Annoying me. Jeez, who is going to get that star? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Please tell me this is the first mini game I'm going to win. Oh wait, I'm the guy in the tub, or the the girl in the tub. Man controlling girl. Jeez. Okay, at least it's something new. I haven't been the tub person yet. I guess you could say I'm wearing the bathtub ring. Tee hee hee hee, Mario RPG references. There's like accessory in that game that only Peach could wear called the bathtub ring. Oh jeez. This mini game is kind of difficult for the tub person. If the computer players didn't suck at this mini game. Like, there's so many games where, uh, like, where the controls are, like, really weird. Like, you know, Dizzy Dancing, where the computer players, like, purposely suck at it, so, like, you know, it's fair, but this is, it's like, they act like it for this, even though the controls aren't that awful, 
Oh jeez, I made it! Yes, finally I won a freaking minigame! That took way, way too long. Seriously, what the heck? Jeez. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video for me sucking more. Later.